currently you have uh, the rail market where you have, at least from a freight point of view, you have TFR uh, and then you have TE supporting it. And uh, TFR is then the infrastructure owner, infrastructure manager, and the operating company. So what we foresee then as we go forward is that you'll have the trim, you'll have TFROC, and uh, we might change this TFROC name. I think it was an interim name, but I think it's sticking. So we might have to change it very soon. And then you'll have other train operating companies, right? like that TOC1, TOC2, uh, as we move forward, and even more operators uh, as we go forward. Um, the role of the infrastructure manager uh, is to be the, the, or the network owner and operator, uh, and the network operator in this case, allocating train slots and ensuring safe operations on the assets, providing traffic management function, ma maintaining the network to approve standards, determining access fees through the IREC and, uh, and uh, the, the regulator, and uh, the terms that are published in the network statement. Uh, also negotiating in network, network access agreements in a non-discriminatory manner, uh, selling train slots at uh, uh, regulatory approved prices, um, and uh, like I indicated, the transport economic regulator will regulate access, access and uh, pricing arrangements. What we've done on our side is, uh, with a split, we've sort of you know, implemented these Chinese walls, so I'm more on the operation side, even though uh, this, the project team and the interim uh, infrastructure manager report to me. Uh, from a project point of view of implementing the infrastructure manager, they report directly to the uh, to the group chief executive because we want to make sure that the team stays objective and uh, we don't have any uh, from an operating point of view uh, too much influence in terms of in terms of uh, the network statement i for instance did not sign up the network statement and the fees uh, we made a presentation also last week to the iric uh, from an tfrog point of view about our views in terms of the network statement so we try and keep that uh, as an independent team and uh, uh, let them carry on with their work without uh, influencing that too much independence between trim and tfrog is very very important now what are we what 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 is the sort of structures the governance structures you have in place and remembering that the perception is as important as the actual structures that are in place. Well, we, like I've explained, uh, what we've done is for the purposes of the trim, the team that's implementing the infrastructure manager, and uh, we've uh, they don't report into me. Uh, for the purposes of implementing the infrastructure manager, they, they report directly to Michelle. If they have meetings, they've had a meeting with uh, the RSR recently. I don't get invited to those meetings because um, we must try and make sure that we get those Chinese walls right in terms of what remains on the on the on the trim side and what remains on the operating company side. This is important because um, when you go further into rail reform, what you can can't have is that number one, from a TFROC point of view, we influence the process too much, and number two, you'll soon have customers that also share their information, they have tariffs and whatever, and uh, it would be anti-competitive for us to have uh, insights into those. Uh, so we try and keep that separate. Like I indicated, the network statement, for instance, um, uh, I did not sign off. Uh, it was uh, the, uh, not for me to sign off. Michelle signed it off, and uh, as TFROC, as an operating company, and I cleared this with the board that. We also had our comments about uh, uh, the network statement and some of the things that we think should be relooked at. For instance, the tariff. We also have our view about the tariff. We think it's very high, uh, and uh, we also don't think uh, that you'll have uh, significant growth if you go with that tariff. So we're also un unhappy about some of the things that we've seen and. Uh, Instead of influencing the process from inside, we said, let's keep the independence and make sure that we follow the same process other train operating companies will have to follow. And we can comment once the product is finalized, the network statement is published, and then we go and make our comments uh, at the uh, at these sessions that the IREC has uh, scheduled.